and welcome back to the channel. To this video, yes, there is a new version of Victron Venus OS 3.14. And look at this, just released yesterday. As of today is January 25th and 2024. And it's released yesterday and I just saw it and I thought I want to do, as always, the updates on my Raspberry Pis I have running with Venus OS, both in the version 3.13 one is my production, one is my test unit. Uh, one is the Raspberry Pi 4, that's my test unit. And the other one is my Raspberry Pi 2, which is running my production system. So let's take a look into the release notes really quick or change log what Victron released and see what it actually means because it's it looks like it's a minor change, at least when you just look at the numbers. So let's take a look here. Um, I try to highlight the products, what they um, try to put in the release notes so you see it quicker. Please feel free to pause anytime because I know I'm just flying over it. So here it is, um, support for new Mopica sensors, tank sensor models, it's cool. They do add uh, support for R-Code Soyuz alternator controller. I uh, tried to look it up online what that thing is. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting unit. I've never worked with that, so let me know in the comment section below if someone of you guys uses it and uh, or want to use it now, also want to connect it here. Then we have some uh, PV inverter integrations, some issues fixed um, with the new models of Fronius, and as well support added for SMA tree power XPV inverters. And then we also have added power for the KACO, KCO PV inverters, as well as multi inverter RS bug fixes. And then, interesting, uh, I did not experience that, I would say. Try to think. No, I didn't experience that. Remote firmware updates, um, especially when to get through the VRM portal. Uh, fix bug and crash during scanning of devices with the Mark III and old firmware. And then we have uh, fixed analog inputs with the Cerebro. I think that's pretty good. And you can see there they talk about after having updated the beta to a new beta and then um, roll it back. Oh, interesting. They take care of that one. That's cool. So you should update to 3.14 as they call it out. And then the last bullet, uh, NMEA2000. Cool, I think, um, I hope you have paused. I hope you looked at that. I try to copy everything in the description below. I cannot promise that it works. So that's uh, as of now. And maybe one thing before we continue actually upgrading. And there's one thing I wanna update you the, on the DC to DC charger, the Victron Orion XS, which has up to 50 amp of charging power from your car battery to your leisure battery or house battery. And that's pretty cool. I'm still waiting for it. Um, I'm here in the US. I didn't have the chance yet gotten to order one. So still on pre-order. Waiting for that thing to arrive because I want to test it. I want to see it. Um, it's Victron, so the quality should be pretty good. Uh, they have some nice features. You might have read already about it. So I hope this will coming out soon. Um, then I will make a video about it as well. But uh, now focusing on this one. By the way, I do like to do those Victor and Venus OS updates, also still try to develop things or try to integrate things in my system. Uh, if you have any ideas what I should do next, what I should or can look into, that would be great. I saw, for example, one thing which I thought was so interesting, uh, but I haven't gotten all the parts yet and it uh, was just not possible for me to do at the moment. But having an inverter which has a remote connector, you know, one of those old telephone connectors almost, having one of those and then and then connecting to the Raspberry Pi and then using the VR portal or using the console or whatever to turn it on, turn it off, which then also works remote, obviously. That's something I would love to do. So, um, so I hope this will happen also pretty soon. So that's enough um, advertisement. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see that stuff and want to stay on top of that. Um, let's continue. So here we can see my Raspberry Pi 4, which is running my test version. There's just two one wires and, and it is also having the setup helper package installed with the Raspberry Pi processor temperature. And also with, oop, when you click on pages, good mod. So we just go ahead as always. Um, and please, I hope, and I hope I'm not too fast. I'll do it twice because I'm doing it two devices. So please feel free to interrupt and stop. But now going settings, firmware, now we can see, oh, I'm on a, interesting, sorry, didn't even roll back, it looks like. Uh, let me roll back first. All right, again, let's check. Menu, settings, firmware, 3.13. 
Let's go to online updates. And now I want to change the update feed. I do want to have the latest release. And now I'll go check for updates. There we are, 3.14. Any questions? Perfect. Rebooting. And let's try to reconnect. Oh, there we are back. As you can see, there is uh, no dark mode. So that means everything tries to reconnect and reinstall. Setup helper is doing its job. I heard a bunch of time that uh, for other people it didn't work as good so far. Um, I think last time updating to 3.13, video up there. Um, I had one time an issue, I think, where we had to uh, uninstall the package and delete part of um, the installation path. But then afterwards it was able to download and install again, so... If you need some troubleshooting advice, that video, that's the way to go. And I hope it helps. There we are. Nice. We do have setup help in. So let's go into the settings. Let's check the firmware. We're running on 3.14, so that was successful, it looks like. Let's go back one, and now we'll scroll down all the way to Package Manager. Looking into here, refreshing GitHub version information, that's fine, keep doing that. And let's check on the active packages. Because here we can see setup helper is installed. Raspberry Pi display setup. Venus OS temperature service, that's a Raspberry Pi uh, processor temperature. And then we have the GUI mods down here. So everything seems to be installed and running, no issues. All the packages were back up, back and installed. That's really nice, that's refreshing. Uh, let's check here the GUI mod really quick. Whoop, sorry. Click, there we go. Nothing connected, so except for the two one wires here, those ones, and they lay close to each other. Close enough. That's what it was, just a little tiny bit of a difference. Great. So my test unit's running. Usually you should let it run maybe a little bit. If you have a similar setup, if you have maybe all the components running and connected to it, so just to make sure everything of your equipment is running and working before you would upgrade your production system. Just an advice, you don't have to. Uh, but we'll switch now to my Raspberry Pi 2, which is my production system, as I mentioned a couple of times. And here we see it, we do have also, oh, we also have here the Raspberry Pi processor temperature, which should be also installed through the setup helper, as well as the dark mode. It's activated to highlight that part. And then we have two Victron components, one is the smart chunt and the other one is the smart solar charger MPBT. Uh, it's dark, nothing's connected in terms of sun. Anyhow, we'll check settings. Let's go to firmware, same as before. Interesting, I had both updated to uh, one of the last versions. I have also have to revert back really quick. I'll do that now, changing the update feed, and what I wanna do is store backup firmware first. I wanna revert back to 3.13. Uh, actually, yes, I'll do that first, because I don't wanna uh, risk that I might break something here, so I'd rather go one version back and then I upgrade to 314 because 320 is a little far ahead. So I'm gonna avoid that part. Let's try to reconnect. And there we are, back up. Everything's uh, still connected, running. Let's go back to settings, firmware really quick. We are back on a 3.13. Now we go to online updates. I did change already the update feed to latest release and we have the image type large here. So let's check for updates. The update before was probably one to two minutes, so it was a very, very quick update with the smaller image. With the large image, I expect a little longer update. So let's just go ahead. And rebooting. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. It's white. But we do see already Raspberry Pi processor temperature. We do see um, both Victron components connected. But we do not see the GU mod installed yet. But maybe it's happening right now. That's what I like about the setup helper, and there's a video up there, which should still apply to this. It's great. It's just 
helping so much. So again, uh, Kevin, thank you so much for developing this, even though I don't know this um, person, but thank you so much. That's so helpful. And I think a lot of people, a lot of users actually using this because it makes it makes your life so easy and refreshing. Let's reconnect and there we are. Nice, look at that. Color changing works. Uh, it looks good here. Let's go to settings. Let's go to firmware. Let's confirm. We do have the version 3.14. Go to menu back, or go to pages. Takes a little bit. There we go. And we do have our GUI mod. Nice. That's good. Going back to menu, going back to settings, and I want to check how the package installs. So I'm scrolling down all the way. Package manager. Checking for downloads and install, perfect, active packages. Let's see what we're having. Setup helper, installed. Shutdown monitor, installed. Raspberry Pi temperature, not installed. But the Venus OS temperature service is installed. There we go. I have to clean up this stuff, it looks like. Because I think I did uninstall a couple packages and I... Yeah, like the Raspberry Pi GPIO setup, I don't have running at all at the moment. Nothing's connected there. Oh, there's an old... Oh, that is interesting. GUI mods underscore. Oh, I've never seen this. Oh, actually, I think I do remember. Yeah, in the version last update, 3.13, I actually called it underscore just to keep this folder. Uh, it looks like it's still in there. So interesting that it pops up here. That's nice. I'll remove this package. Let's see. Hopefully it works. Nice. Did it work? And uh, what I want to have the Raspberry Pi temperature, I would want to remove that as well since it's not installed. Should be done. Yeah, I want to keep the GPIO uh, on purpose because um, stuff might come up. Cool, let's see. Let's go back menu. We still have our temperature. There we go. It should be that simple. I hope when you do the updates. You have the same or similar experience like I do, worked out of the box, but your setup might be totally different, might be way bigger than mine. If there's any specific product you would recommend me to connect for the next tests, please let me know. I'll try to make it possible, unless it's something I really don't use, <laughs> but who knows. By the way, my propane tank sensor is too far away at the moment because um, I moved everything, but I didn't move the propane tank, so that's why it's not showing up. I'm pretty sure it's still working with Bluetooth really never had issues with that and they even added new sensors as you read in the change logs all right i would say that's about it as always please like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to if you like that stuff it's not all it's not just victor and stuff i'm doing uh, there are other other things which are related to each other so with the battery stuff i'm doing the battery reviews as well as maybe some overlanding camping where i usually try to get or take my power with me so that's why i'm also try to modify my Jeep in that regard and more stuff to come hopefully pretty soon. So bigger battery banks, new battery products, uh, received a couple of things already. So I hope I have your interest and please, as mentioned, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers.